The South Island Arts community was recently given a gift in Saanich and it came way before Christmas. A brand new arts facility has been added onto the Cedar Hill Rec Centre, officially opening its doors back in September. But where is it? From the front, the building looks the same to me. Let's have a snoop round the back and see how pretty it is. That can't be it. Must be a bit further. Good job I got my hiking boots. Ah, there it is. The centre itself has been about 10 years in the making from the time that it was originally identified as a community need in the 2001 Master Plan for Sandwich Parks and Rec. And so it's great to see it open now, finally, because I've been involved essentially the entire 10 years. And um, now what we have is the only municipally owned and operated art centre in the capital region. It's an additional 11,000 square feet at a price tag of $4.7 million. Funding was split three ways between municipal, provincial and the federal government, meaning that government has spent money on the arts for this project. You like the new facility? I love it. I've been here in, in the recreation centre for many different courses over my years. You know, one including relaxing, where we all brought a nice mat. And There's a course on relax. relaxing? <laughs> I need to take that one. <laughs> That's a good course. We also have dance here as well. According to a 2010 University of Victoria study, it was the arts that brought $170 million net income into the local economy. Not only that, it creates 5,400 local jobs. We know that arts is a really vibrant part of community. It's placemaking for people, it's a creative outlet, it's a spiritual um, activity for a lot of people. It's where they, where they nurture themselves. This is Sheila Morley's fourth pottery class at the new centre. And her plan here is to shape the perfect casserole dish. In the past, there was a very small studio, which is where I had done previous classes. Very tiny, very cramped. And this has been so long overdue. Ah, oh, it's therapeutic. I love getting my hands dirty, getting down into it. I'm not artistic, but it's good to have a creative outlet. As well as classes, the facility is open for students so they can practice what they learn and fine-tune their techniques. Now a course at the Arts Centre at Cedar Hill, pottery or painting, runs about six to eight weeks and they're currently in the process of evolving their programming to suit demand. The centre's probably got it covered when it comes to fitting a class into your schedule. We've added a lot of exhibition space. When we did our art strategy in Sanish, that was one of the top priorities for artists in the region, was to have space where they could exhibit their work. So we've added um, a large gallery space, which is going to be operated by the Community Arts Council of Greater Victoria starting in January. Another thing to look forward to, your new hobby slash career as a potter. You can make a steaming hot casserole as well as the bowl to put it in. It's Sanage, I'm James Green for The Daily.